Hello everyone. My name is Alan, and I'm on behalf of my friend Amdal Shukari who is in leave somewhere else around the world and he asked me to be continuing this episode. Therefore, from now I will be your tutor, until he comes back. This tutorial will cover how to implement the HCP, IP helper, VLAN, and voice over IP service. So, let's get started. As you can see in this case, there are three departments, and each department has its own network. First thing we will make sure, that the router which we use, is 2811 under router section, because this router is the only router that support VOIP service. Then, click on the router and switch it off, so as to increase the number of ports, in default, there will be only two ports activated. Hold click and drag it to the port section, and then turn the router on again. As you can see, now we have four Ethernet channel ports. Connect the router with switches, it is recommended to use the first port for switches, to be connected to the router. Assign the IP address for the gateways. For port FA0 slash 0 the IP address of this network will be 172 16 1 0. Subnet mask is class C, thus the gateway will be 172 16 1 1 and don't forget to switch it on. Do the same in other ports. 4 f 0 slash 1 gateway is 172. 17. 1. 1. Turn it on. While in port f 1 slash 0 we just turn it on. And that because this port will contain sub-interfaces for VLANs of other switches, and will get IP addresses from the DHCP server by IP helper, so we do not need to assign IP address for this port. Now we go and activate the DHCP server, then, add the IP addresses of all departments. Once we have done, we must assign static IP addresses for the servers.
I know it is too boring, but nothing comes easy, you have to work hard and understand, take second cup of tea, if you reach this much, to refresh your mind. It seems all servers are able to ping each other. Now we will work on layer 3 switch. First we need to check VLAN status. After enable, we type show VLAN brief. This command will show us VLAN brief. In layer 3 switch. Create all VLANs you have created in layer 2 switches. Check VLANs again. Now you created VLANs with their name. Next step determines the port range. While doing this step it is easier than repeating the same process for all ports. As you can see, this message shows that all ports are activated, besides, all ports are changed to orange color, afterward, it will automatically change to green. Now we move to the router, from the port, that connects to the layer 3 switch. And I repeat. Make sure it is the one which is connected directly to the layer 3 switch. This step to create sub interfaces for VLANs that you have created. Take note that the sub interfaces of VLAN will be created in the router. Encapsulation.1Q VLAN. Gateway of the network that you created in DHCP server. IP helper will be the IP address of DHCP server. Repeat the steps for all VLANs.
Now let's configure VOIP service. Create DHCP for VOIP in the router first. And the reason that I did not create VOIP in DHCP server is because there will be confliction. The PC did not get IP address. But guess what? Before I start this video I created all VLANs in Switch Layer 2. I made a mistake here. However, every problem has a solution. Let's investigate the problem. Go to the Layer 2 switch and type Show VLAN Brief. If you are in Global Configuration Mode type, do Show VLAN Brief. Here is the problem. VLANs have no directions. 
which means I should indicate each VLAN which port to access. Note, if you want to put two VLANs in one port it is possible, only if you use one VLAN for access and second VLAN for voiceover, otherwise there will be confliction. Fast forward, and check if DHCP is successful. So far so good. Again repeat the steps for the rest of switches. Note, if you want to add another end device then you should provide a range of ports that you want them for future, otherwise you will be repeating the steps again and again for each port. Fine. Let's try to have a call with someone. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What is your name? I am Roberto, I knew it is you. I am Ahmed al shakari's friend, he told that someone will call me for testing. He is a friend of mine as well. Oh it's good. I'm giving this lecture for students on behalf of him. God bless you. I have to end this call, bye. At the end, I hope you like the video, if you do, please hit the like button, to support the channel and thank you for watching.